Good afternoon. It is October 1st, 2020. I'm Lisa Otto and the Geneva Show Report. We are here on um, Linton Road and Zenda Road right on the corner. You can see there was um, a car accident, a car crash, and it looks like we have two vehicles involved. And this call just came in um, under under 10 minutes ago. You can see we have a car that went right into the pole over there. I want to stay out of the way of the of all the vehicles. We're going to try to go around. But I know Lake Geneva has been called, Lynn has been called, and um, Fontana is now here. We have a Walworth County Sheriff here as well. So a lot of different depart departments here to assist, but it's a two car accident on the corner of Linton and Zenda, and it looks like it could be a pretty severe accident. Injuries are unknown at this time. So what we've but got is a single car accident. No, there's two. Are there two? Yeah. Let's see if we can get a better perspective across the street. Right there, the truck that, right there, the whole front end is messed up on that van, the delivery van, and so then this car. So it looked like maybe it was a. Yeah, I'm not really sure, but I mean, this car went head on into the pole, so. That's for sure. Yeah. So this is a, a mess. I'm sure there are some kind of injuries involved. Um, a lot of unknowns at this time. Looks like the car took it really well, though. I mean, it's not back to the windshield. Right, that's good. That's good news. Um, but you're going to notice that there is a lot of first responders and a lot going on here at this intersection. So you're really going to want to... Even more first responders are right. coming. I know Lynn is here. Walworth um, County Sheriff's Department is here. Fontana's been called. Lake Geneva's been called. Let's walk down. Which way? That's a mud pit, okay? Let's see how it the mud. I don't want to have to fish you out of the mud. Well, thank you. Thank you, George. Yeah. So let's see if we can get a better view. Okay. Okay, there's a better view of the situation than the truck. Uh, and let's see, are, are they still ministering? We don't want to take pictures of anyone. No, I, I don't want to get any. Involved in the accident. Oh, but the front of that car is a, a mess on that side, on the driver's side. Yeah. So no, it looks like it doesn't look like he's working on anyone. Looks like they're what is what is he doing? Hard to say at this point. Yeah. No, he's not working on anyone. They've got everyone out at this point. So now what? it's a matter of of cleanup. Well, apparently. So if you are heading down this way, traffic is really starting to back up um, behind all of these first responders, all this activity going on here. So you may want to plan accordingly. Well, they're starting and... to wave some through though. Are they? Yeah. Okay. But it's still going to take a real yeah. long time to, to clean get... up this mess. Well, and I'm sure they're going to have to do a little um, accident investigation, what all happened and so yeah, it'll be, it'll take some time here in this Amazing area. Amazing how quick they all get here, though. Right. Yeah, I mean we got the call in right when the accident happened. It took us five minutes to get here, and Town of Lynn's already here. Lake Geneva's here. Uh, I guess the Fontana's the sheriff. here. The Fontana's here somewhere. Yeah. Yeah, you can call this rural out here, but I'll tell you. The emergency services are not rural. Well, and I believe this is part of the area that is involved in the agreement um, for the that EMS. And the, yes. 
between Lynn and Lake Geneva and um, yeah. Lions. So, and it's um, messy out here. It's about high 40s or low 50s in temperature, and the wind is blowing, and the and rain is coming down. Yep. Gosh. Not a great. Day. Yeah. No. So if you're out there driving, just please take your time. Be careful. Well, this Pay is a attention. tough intersection because of the hill that comes down from the south. Uh, and it's really hard to slow down quick enough to stop at that stop sign. And obviously, that's somebody didn't. Yeah. Uh, don't know who. But I wondered if skidding over there in the water might have been part, part of, of the, the issue. Yeah. yeah. But nevertheless, a serious accident. No question about that. I guess it's a matter of now waiting for the tow truck. Yeah. Get the uh, cars and the debris away as much as possible. Looks like the the town of Lynn there, one of the first responders, had to hurry up and put on his mud boots. <laughs> <laughs> I think so. It is muddy yeah. out here. Oh, gosh. His galoshes. There's going to be a lot oh. of reports written, that's oh. for sure. And Lieutenant Gritzner. Oh, is that Lieutenant Gritzner? Yeah, he's coming to tell us to get out of the way. How are you, Lieutenant? How are you? Good. Do we know what happened? Sure if they want you on their property here. Oh, kind of are we on private property? Here, so you okay. are on private property. So okay. I, I appreciate if you just get on the other yes. side of the vehicles, that'd be great. Thank you. All right. So, oh, we have tow trucks here. We have Larry's and and Larry's. <laughs> Let's walk around over to the sheriff's uh, vehicle over there. That's public property. Yeah. Maybe you get a better view from this angle of what's yeah. going on. Yeah. We want to go across the street here. Yeah, right here. Okay. Okay, you can see that they're going to tow these vehicles out of the way, I'm sure. Yeah. Well, I think we've got about as much as we're going to get from this accident. All right. Okay. So, all right. Just everyone be careful out there. Take your time. Pay attention. Wet roads and visibility is not the greatest. And you are? Lisa Otto. And George Lucy Jr. And the Geneva Shore Report. With the rest of the story. Bye-bye. I should get a couple still shots.